Hey everyone, so this is going to be my 2017 financial New Year's resolution slash goals video. Um, I've seen some people do this already and I'm excited for a lot of you having like amazing big goals for 2017. And so I'm going to share some of mine and also how I'm going to try to get there. So first off, first resolution, it's more of a resolution than a goal is I'm going to stop using my credit cards because apparently I cannot pay them back after I use them and then I keep thinking I have more money than I have. And this is so strange for me because almost for three years I think I didn't use any credit cards. Then all of a sudden now I have four within the last like few months. So no more credit cards, no more using credit cards. Um, yeah. <laughs> and my second goal slash resolution will be not eating out at work. Um, it happened a few times, everything crashed in the last few months, so even though I brought food to work, like I wasn't feeling it, and then I went to go buy something. If that happens, I'm just going to suck it up and eat the food I brought, because I d shouldn't be spending extra money when I don't have to. However, if I'm working two hours over my normal shift, I do get a meal ticket, so I'll get free, not free, I'll get a reimbursement of $15 back up to $15. So in those cases, yes, I would probably use them, use the meal ticket and buy food out. But I won't go over the $15 because I don't want to spend more than I need to. And another kind of, it's kind of like a health slash, well, I guess the food is too, like a health slash um, personal finance. When I go out, if I do go out to eat or if I order food or anything, I'm not going to buy like soda or anything. I'm just going to drink water. And that actually saves a lot of money because a lot of times when you go out, the drink alone is like $3 or $5 depending on where you go. And sometimes it's just like fountain soda that is super cheap and you're paying a lot for it. So um, I kind of restarted that in the last few weeks. Whenever I go out, I try to just have water. Um, either water or coffee, but mostly water. And that brings me to my next thing. Not buying Starbucks every single day because I've been basically doing that which is expensive especially because now I'm adding shots so not only am I drinking Starbucks but I'm drinking a giant venti latte with an extra shot and more syrup which actually costs more money I think the one I bought the other day which is really good was almost eight dollars for a coffee times how many days yeah no so <laughs> stop stop doing that um and then I have some um, goals, like I want to pay off my consolidation loan, which is around $5,000 right now. I want to be sure that I pay off the loan I just got to fix my car, which is about $2,000. And I have a savings goal of about three dollars to $4,000. So, I mean, that's, that's a lot of money that's happening right there. And all of it seems to want to happen before, like, June, so... I'm going to be working a lot, and I'm going to be cutting a lot of corners. I am doing a no-spin January, which I'm going to do another video about, and hopefully that helps. I'm going to try to do more no-spin months so I can try to cash flow things that I need or things that I want, um, because I still want to travel, and I know that's going to slow down my other goals, but it's just something I want to do, and if I'm not going to add any debt with traveling, then I'd rather just do that. Um, so... How I'm going to reach those goals. So for the food slash saving money and putting towards debt um, or a goal, I'm going to make sure that I batch cook a lot more because I stopped doing that in the last few months too. Like, I, I don't know what happened in the last few months. Everything just flipped on me. Um, but I do have an Instapot and I have batch cooked a lot before. And there was one time I made enough food for almost two months of work lunches which saves a lot of money because I think I only spent like $40 for two months of work lunches and then some dinners too when I was really lazy. I just pulled out my frozen thing and ate that. Actually, it helps a lot, um, especially when you're tired and you get home and you're hungry. Um, so I wanted to do that. I want to also try to free make my own breakfast burritos and freeze them because I'm very fond of breakfast burritos. It's just very easy to just eat a burrito on the way to work. And to breakfast and coffee... I'm going to save money on coffee is go back to doing cold brew. I used to do cold brew quite a bit. Um, and I like cold brew because you could drink it cold or hot, which is amazing. 
it tastes a lot better to me than drip coffee or Keurig coffee, and Keurigs can get pretty expensive unless you have the reusable cups, which we do, but I feel like whenever I make it, it just doesn't taste as good because it's like most of the water is just going through it anyway, which is ridiculous. Um, but for cold brew, if nobody's made cold brew before, I have my little cold brew thing here. That's heavy. Wrong arm. So I make it in my mason jar, and in here, uh, let's let's try to open this without dropping it all over myself. Life goals. Okay. Eh, okay. Well, that was just one part of it. Okay. Try not to make a mess. Oh my bet. Ooh, it smells so good. So in here right now I have um, Death Wish coffee, but when I'm out of that I'm probably going to use, I just ordered Folgers because it's super cheap, it was like 21, it's 21 cents per ounce, and this is like a dollar and 30 cents per ounce. Anyway, it's not, I'm not going to show you the coffee, but it has this little mesh thing I bought, it was a cold brew little kit I bought, so it's basically just this, and you put it in a wide mouth mason jar that's 32 ounces, and you cover it. Without dropping it on myself. And there's two ways to go about this. You either you not make a lot of noise while I do that. If I need it faster, like by 24 hours, I can just leave it out. And it, like this was clear when I put the water in, so now it's it's been steeping for a few hours. Um, you could either leave it out for 24 hours, then take off the metal, throw away everything, um, and then you have a concentrate. It's actually a concentrate. You don't. You're not. You're not supposed to drink it straight, but I do, because I need my caffeine. But anyway, it's a concentrate. I'm going to actually try to use it as a concentrate, because I would draw it out more. Um, so 24 hours, if you're going to leave it out. If you want to put it in the fridge, it could take 48, about about two days, um, to f finish uh, steeping. And then you could just take out the middle, wash it out. Um, and it's actually good to have, like, two of these two mason jars so once one's done you start brewing the other so by the time you drink that one you have a new one it kind of cycles and the other thing I do with that is I like vanilla coffee vanilla iced coffees or vanilla iced lattes this is gonna be obviously a coffee um, I just bought a vanilla syrup and then I have a cup and I have silicone straws because I always tear up the roof of my mouth so I have that all set so I'm not going to be buying coffee every day, which is 5 to $8 a day. Uh, so that's going to help a lot. So batch cooking, coffee, um, getting water when I do slash if I do eat out water. Um, I'm probably primarily going to be drinking water and my coffee, my coffee in the morning, and then be drinking my water. I do have two water bottles, so I'm going to make sure I'm going to fill, fill those up as much as possible. I was actually thinking of buying another Brita, or a Brita type of water thing, because there was one at work, but somebody moved, or it was somebody's, and I guess they took it home. And I've been buying, like, gallons of water, I've been trying to fill it up here and then go to work, and then I'm thirsty at work and end up buying more water, so I'm probably just going to bring one to work and just have it there. Um, I do have a snack drawer at work, which has been helping a lot, instead of buying at the machine. So that's another thing I need to refill my snack drawer. And... Basically, I'm just going to try to stop frivolous spending so I can push all that money into my goals, which should help a lot. So, I'm trying to think of any other money saving things I do that I haven't done in a while that I need to go back to. But yeah, in, in general, it's batch cooking, making my coffee at home, making my food at home, which I just said, batch cooking, and water. I feel like I'm missing something. No, yeah, that's actually what uses a lot of my extra money besides, you know, buying things I don't need. I guess another thing is don't go to Walmart after work because after work is like 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock at night and I end up buying things I don't need just because I'm kind of shopping for no reason. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. Do you do that? I do that. I know a lot of night owls do that. They go to Walmart or somewhere at night and then they just randomly buy things that you don't need um, um, but yeah I'm also going to try to do a no buy I'll commit to it right now a no buy for eyeshadow um, and a low buy for other makeup so basically I'm going to go until I finish my makeup and then buy replacement so 
I think the most expensive thing I have is foundation but it's been doing very well for my skin so that's the only thing I'm gonna have to like splurge on kind of but if I'm not buying everything else it should be okay um because my concealer is gonna last like forever <laughs> I'm looking at my makeup bag I have some backups already for things because I bought things on sale so I have backups for a lot of things so I shouldn't need to in theory should need to buy anything for a while um but essentially I really don't need any more eyeshadow like I, I there's no real reason for me to need eyeshadow or even blush or contour or anything like that I have palettes and I've just been buying things for no reason so recapping goals and resolutions no more credit cards um my secret goal <laughs> my paying off my car fixing credit line, my paying off of my consolidation loan, cooking more at home, batch cooking more, making my own coffee, no buying eyeshadows, low buying makeup in general, and yeah. I do also want to learn how to cut my own hair, but that's going to be another, 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 another thing. I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, and then maybe in about a month or two, I'll do a review and my thoughts on a safety razor and explain how that saves money. And well, first I need to be able to use one first. I don't want to talk about it quite yet, but I did just buy one um, because we have to pay so much for things. So I'm going to do a whole video of how to replace disposable things to save you money. And yeah, do you have any goals or resolutions financially for 2018? And if you do, put them below, or if you have any, like, budget saving or money saving tips, you could put them below, or something that you didn't know. Um, I'll put the link to this down below. I think I bought it on Amazon, so this has saved me a lot of money in the past, and it's about to save me a lot of money again. So, I need my coffee. I tried without coffee, and I had too much headaches. Migraine, super fun. I'm just going to deal with it and drink coffee. But yeah. See you later.